Mm. <gasps> I just burned my eyebrow. Oh. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. So today, um, we're gonna be doing a uh, chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm going to get ready to take my graduation pictures, so this should be fun. Yeah, I just wanna do a chit chat with you guys because I feel like I've never done that before. And uh, I need to like really start showing you guys like more of my personality. I feel like I'm just giving you guys solely reviews and I, I want you guys to get to know me, so. Um, it's gonna be a uh, chit chat while I get ready for my graduation pictures, and I might take you guys with me. I put this earring in the wrong hole. You can definitely tell. How many holes do you guys have? When I was younger, I used to want so many holes because I just thought they make me look so cool. Yeah, no. I wanted my cartilage pierced before too, and thank God I never got that done. So. This hair um, is from Premium, Premium Lace Wigs. I just did a video on that, so if you guys are looking for the review on this hair, I'll put the information for that video right above me. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do with my hair. Like, she curled it yesterday, but this hair is not holding a curl, honey. Like, for nothing. So, like, I don't want to wear it like this, because this just looks like... So like you can't even try bitch. Really? Let's see if this is hot. Don't do this at home. Yeah, it's hot. I don't know what to do. Like, and should I do my makeup first or should I do my hair? I don't know what to do. I just turned my AC off because I don't want you guys to be like, your AC was so loud, it was blowing. So heartbroken because I just feel like my birthday is in a week two weeks my birthday's in two weeks and I have no plans I'm not going anywhere I'm just upset because I feel like every year I never do anything for my birthday like ever and it just sucks I really don't know how to curl hair so this should be interesting are you supposed to I never know if you're supposed to curl backwards or forwards could somebody tell me in the comments because you're gonna see me looking like an idiot right now Let's see how it comes out. And literally my lighting on my camera only doesn't act up when I am in my room. And like, look at my eyebrows, okay? Like, what? What is going on? Like, what is going on? This is absolutely ridiculous. Like, literally ridiculous. Um, like, I need my eyebrows done. I need everything done. It's survival of the fittest at this point. I'm so done. I hope this is hot enough. What is? What if it's not even turned all the way to the max heat? My, oh my God. Like, I knew I should have been up earlier. Because let me tell you something. My hair alone is going to take a good hour and a half. Okay, this looks pathetic. Yeah. Um, and what the hell? Oh, piece of hair just came out. Alrighty. I don't know. Like, this is just not it. Oh my gosh, Lord! Jesus! It's a whole joke. I'm just gonna be sitting here looking stupid? Nah. Something's gotta give. Not today. This is why I just hate coming on Instagram. I just hate it. Like, I really do. Because people love the front so bad. Like, niggas will have like $300 in 20. All of a sudden, we know what the fuck going on. No, bitch. We don't. Sit your broke ass down. <laughs> I don't even know if I should just spray it. I don't know what's going on. This is not a tutorial. This is literally me rushing. But I bought this from Marshalls. It was $7. And it's usually like $27 on the website. It's a Sebastian Shaper Plus. And it's supposed to be really good. So we're going to go over this curl one more time. And see what's going on because I can't I don't have time I really don't have time and I don't have anyone to curl my hair for me so we're kind of in a rush 
Does anyone watch Insecure? I literally am so obsessed. Like, all my friends were talking about it for the longest on Twitter. And I finally started watching it. And I am obsessed. I just want her to keep making seasons after season. And if you do watch it, tell me, like, whose team you're on. Because I am so team Issa. Like, I am, I've, I'm literally up, caught up to, like, the whole season now. Um, the finale is supposed to be... Sunday this Sunday and um, like that because now we gotta wait for another season and it's like I really wonder as far as like how Molly and Issa's friendship is gonna end I think Molly just wants her ass kissed though like I'm just gonna be completely honest and I feel like friends like that are so toxic where they expect you to be the first person to apologize the first person to initiate a conversation if you guys have like a falling out like that's not fair like that's really just not fair to me I think it's fucked up how Molly treats Issa and that's just how I feel um <laughs> argue with your mama don't argue with me because that's just how I feel and uh these neighbors go like I, I really gotta start closing my window because I be doing too much knowing damn well there's a bunch of boys living across the street from my house like I know I be giving them free shows weirdos I feel like guys right now the rush that I'm in I'm going to have to fast forward this because I won't be out of here in time and I have to be there at 12 so I will come back when look at that look at that fucking pathetic so anyways guys i am going to finish curling my hair and putting them in flexi rods and then i'll come back when i start my makeup because i will literally not be out of here by 12 so i will see you guys once um i finish curling my hair I was just watching Insecure. I'm like so obsessed and I just, I just, I love shows that are so relatable. Like I, I just love it. I just love it. But anyways, how's quarantine been going for you? We're about to be in phase three and I'm kind of nervous because I feel like people are just going to be acting up even more and then due to like all the protesting that has been going on, RIP to George Floyd, I am extremely like upset about everything that's gone on starting with how much police brutality has been affecting my people um but i'm i'm just i'm really scared because i really just feel like stuff is really about to hit the fan everybody's saying summer's canceled but it's like we're about to open in a couple weeks and there's still a good two months left summer starts so well for of the summer so hmm I don't know, but yeah, let me not throw my laptop because I was just going to attempt to throw my laptop on my bed because it's not too far. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm taking my grad picks and I'm like kind of getting in my feelings again because it's like COVID-19 really took graduation away from me. I'm extremely upset about that. I mean, it didn't necessarily take it away from me because we are having a ceremony and it's probably going to be outside being that now New York can have throw ceremonies outside. Um, it's probably going oh and I want to like I just keep putting myself off so before I even get into this before I even tell you what I was saying I bought this um the Tatcha silk canvas if you guys know I use the regular silk canvas if I can find it to show you guys yeah so I use this this is the regular silk canvas but I wanted to try the liquid silk canvas and see if it really like mattifies my skin because my skin gets so oily and I need my skin to look porcelain when I take these pictures so with that being said I am going to try this out today and I don't know what to do about these brows because honey like the way I have to literally like have to conceal on top of my brow hairs at this point because like there's just so much excess hair and I don't trust myself um, tweezing my brows. So I rather just, I just, I, I pray that these pictures come out okay. So I'm gonna um, 
prime my face with this. And like I said, this is the liquid silk canvas. And um, we're about to see how bomb this is. Hopefully it's bomb. So, and I just love some of the things on my pores. I spray hairspray on my face. Oh my God, I have a pimple right in the middle of my nose. No, 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 no. I'm coming right out. You are coming right out. Are you kidding me? Really? Really? No, I will literally choke myself. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm gonna just prime my face. I just put it on my hand, and I don't know why I put this much, because a little wing goes a long way with this primer. I'm gonna prime all my areas that oil up tip of my nose is definitely one of them and I hope my skin doesn't start its bullshit today no we're, that's what we're not gonna do yeah I put way too much because I did not need that much I just need like certain areas like my under eyes I need this because this part of my face just always tends to puff up so uh, I'm gonna let that dry for a second and it's supposed to be featherweight protective primer for oil-free blah 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 blurs pores arms with silk powder anti-aging japanese superfood reduces the look of youthful radiance hmm. i think i'm gonna start with my brows first um this is gonna take me a while because like i said i've been having to literally get super ghetto and conceal my brow hairs like I'm literally doing drag makeup at this point because like my hairs if you guys can see are all over the place they're all like oh my god I think I put way too much and I gotta set my face too so I wonder if I should even set it because I don't want to look super dried up I don't know um but like I was saying my brow hairs they are all over the place so literally i have to like fake a brow and then i'll literally put concealer like on this whole lining of my brow because i have no other option so <laughs> what can i do i'm debating if i should I, I gotta see how mad this makes my face let's just let's just set it because I'm, I'm not i'm not the one to play today so i'm gonna set my face and this would be the wrong day for me to fuck up my makeup. Like, you, you know like how some people have, I feel like everybody, like you have a good makeup day and then you have a bad makeup day. I, whew, Lord, please let today be a good makeup day because I can't, I can't. I, I knew I should have started earlier. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it because the way I'm set up, my pictures are at 12. I promise you I'm not gonna be leaving here at 12. But I just really didn't want to set my face because Right now, my face is doing this weird thing where it was just okay, and now it's about to start <sighs> getting all dry and crocodile-ish because that's what happens when you got combination skin. You get a good day, and then you get a bad day. You get an oily day, you get a dry day. I'm so sick of it. I think I'm gonna do my brows first, and then I'm gonna come back. This is gonna take me a hefty minute. So, um, let me do my brows and I will come back.
this so I'm back my brows are done so now I'm gonna get into my foundation I'm using the Bobbi Brown foundation skin foundation SPF 15 so this is another thing I wanted to get into a lot of y'all are getting out of control like how do y'all be sitting here letting niggas talk to you crazy like i have never been the type to sit here and let a nigga even think you could call me a bitch because you're not about to call me nothing you wouldn't call your mother and if you call your mother that you are not the nigga for me i just be like so shocked like when i be seeing certain shit guys just sitting there calling their girlfriends bitches or just like certain shit like and i'm just like that could never be me because <laughs> you better come correct when you're talking to me I, I just can't even understand how like it's okay for a guy to sit here and call his girlfriend a bitch like absolutely not you're gonna put some respect on my name period her Ooh, let me turn my ac off because i don't need you i complaining hold on okay so if i showed you guys how my camera's sitting right now you'd be like damn bitch you're going through it my gorilla pod is broken so uh-uh like I was saying, like, I could never let a nigga disrespect me in our relationship, like, as far as calling me out my name, because that's when you know he's just going to keep taking it further each time. And, like, it's not for me, stink. Now that quarantine is coming to an end, um, so I'm just going to, um, blend this foundation in with this brush. I wonder if I should have used a different brush. Oh, wow. Too late. Too late. And this is like a really mattifying foundation, so I kind of played myself putting all that powder and primer on, being that that's already in that. But I really just want like a nice crisp look for these pictures, because I love that like, you know, natural airbrush look. Do you guys prefer that I do reviews, or do you guys want me to do like installs? and then just leave it at that because I be really like disappointed sometimes and I just I don't want to ruin the chance for you guys to even test out there because I might have got a bad batch like I just feel like these people these AliExpress owners they just pick and choose what type of hair to get people and I truly believe that and you can either get a good batch or a bad batch and that's just that I feel like sometimes I get the good batches and sometimes I get the bad batches and it's just like a hit or miss and I hate that but that's just literally what it is try not to get this on my damn wig hmm. this foundation be looking like skin tell me it doesn't it literally looks like skin guys are just so unpredictable and I feel like now you have to start being up front with guys like especially if you know what you're looking for like if you're somebody like me who knows what you're looking for you just need to be specific I'm not about to play dumb and dumber with you like I'm gonna ask you up front <laughs> you got a girlfriend you got a wife you got a baby mother a woman that believes you're her baby mother um do you have any pending DNA tests I need to know everything forefront because I don't I don't like surprises I just feel like you need to be more specific when it comes to dating. That's where I made a mistake before. Like, I was never specific. I used to, like, beat around the bush or I didn't want to see the red flags earlier because I was just enjoying the moment of it. But I don't do that anymore. It's played out. You always end up being the one hurt. Now, I'm going to conceal under my eyes. I literally don't like doing too much. And they need to open these stores. I'm getting sick and tired of it. I'm running low on concealer and I'm so sick of ordering everything I have like 10 packages coming to my house but they're like all like spread out so one's coming next week one's coming today like I don't like that shit but I'm trying not to like drag my concealer all the way down so far anymore because you just don't need to do that but I do use it to make my nose look summer no my brother is not playing his music if he gets me copyrighted i'm gonna be so damn mad i'm gonna have to put background music because this nigga is really playing with me and this concealer dries out really fast i know a lot of the time they say to let your concealer like dry on your face 
but I don't like putting too much on my forehead um, concealer. It's just stupid to me. Pointless. I promise you, this boy gets me copyrighted. We're gonna fight. I'm putting my AC back on, guys, because I cannot get copyrighted. My brother's playing his music in the shower, and I just can't. <sighs> People always gotta fuck up my shit. Always. What's the fuck. You yeah, never win. I hope it's really not too loud. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. So now that I concealed, and oh, I use the Tarte Shape Tape and Rich for that. I'm going to wet my beauty blender. I won't use my Morphe one. No, matter of fact, no, I'm not, because I don't know what it is. I don't have time to be soul searching right now. This is what else I wanted to ask you guys. Do you feel like sitting, sitting outside in your car, like when you come home from going anywhere, like do you feel like that is genuinely like self care? Because I feel like that's just something you have to imply in your week, like at least once. I literally love like when I come home from work or something or I'm driving home and I get home and I, I just sit in my car. Like I could sit in my car for a good like two hours just on my phone or like just sitting there reflecting. Like, I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you guys feel that way. But I definitely feel like sitting par sitting in the car parked and just like, you know, reflecting. I feel like that is just such needed, like at least once during your week. Like I value me time so much. I really do not play about that. Like I just don't like being bothered with people sometimes. And it shows, like it literally shows. Like I cannot even hide that. I love me time. I'm literally going to be 23 next week, like, ew. I just want to be 21 again. Like, I want to age backwards. And I know a lot of the time people contour and conceal at the same time, but I need to do shit step by step because, like I said, I am not a pro at this makeup shit at all. I do what suits me, girl. Make sure you blend out your forehead because literally, like, you may not think nobody can see it, but... People could see that like unblended part that you be trying to hide because I know I see it but I just be like trying to play blind to it but I definitely see it and I need to wash my freaking um, beauty blender because this is absolutely disgusting boom Woo. So I'm gonna go on my Laura Mercier now and I am going to set this concealer real nice so I'm gonna take my time with this because I feel like when I'm messy with this, this is when I get all the flashbacks so, up. So I'm gonna take my time with this. Have you guys ever watched the acrimony? This is when I really knew I was a psychopath because I watched under that movie and I still couldn't figure out how she was wrong. That's when I really knew I was really certified crazy. Cause at the end of the day, like she was holding it down. Like she was holding it down and he still should have took her back. Like that's how I see it. She was holding it down. She was holding it down for long enough. That just, oh, like Tyler Perry, he just really had me twisted with that because I was very upset. Okay, I was very upset. I did not like the ending of that. Like, oh, she gotta be at the end of the ocean dead? Like, come on. That was fucked up how they did my sister Raji. Nope, I was not having it. And he should have took her back and he should have just sucked it up. I don't want to spoil it for you guys because if you guys haven't seen it, go check that out. It's called Acrimony. And I'm pretty sure it's on Hulu. If you guys have Hulu, that's what I use. Yeah, that was a good ass movie because it really shows like a woman can really hold it down for a nigga and be like his rock. Granted, like, even after, like, they cheat on them, do them dirty, do them filthy. Like, a woman can really still not even care and give her all for a guy just because she genuinely loves him. And that don't matter. That did not matter. None of that shit matters. So that's why I be saying, girl, live your best life. <laughs> I, I, like, that's just how I feel. Like, I would never be getting into a relationship now, now that I know, now that I know how niggas are set up. I would never sit here and get into a relationship and not like get any type of benefit out of it. I'm not saying like as far as like money wise, but like 
you have to mentally service me for me to really genuinely give a fuck about you because you can get love anywhere your mother loves you your parents love you like your family loves you most of the time i just feel like we as women need to stop settling for less and i stand on that like i should be the spokesperson for that because honestly i can relate to a lot of the times where i put a guy before myself i was the one who ended up losing in the end even though like i thought like genuinely like oh you know at the end of the day he makes me happy yeah for the moment bitch you need to see shit for what it really is like don't be blind when you're in love with somebody because that shit will really like tear you down as a person and it'll tear down your character like and you don't want to be with somebody who makes you question your own character and if you got to be with somebody who's literally makes you feel like you're disrespecting yourself by pleasing them you don't need to be with them you really don't and that's just how i feel like, i feel like my face shape is so weird that's how my contour always looks so stupid i don't like doing too harsh of a contour because i just don't especially because i already bronze after that Looking nice and chocolatey. Mmm, you see that? I look snatched. It, just wait till I just cut it. Cut it with that setting powder. That shit gonna be nice and crisp. Okay. I feel like I cut it too low. Ugh. I kind of want to do shadow, but then I kind of don't because, like I said, I want a subtle look. Like, I stay dropping this phone. I'm trying to... Is my under eye over here okay? Or am I bugging? Don't worry, the bronzer will fix that right up because I'm not the one to play. And then we're gonna brush that out. I should let it sit longer, but who cares? Come on. Don't play today, Laura. Dude, this is... I mean, this is why I don't like letting my setting powder sit for too long. It's now, it's looking a little freaky Friday down here. You see that? You see that? This is what I be talking about. And my lash supply is running low. Like, I don't know if I should do put my double stack lashes that I made on, or if I should do these lashes. They're like the same lash, but they're just not double stacks. But look how much glue. Like, I literally put the glue on here and then just dip and dab with the tweezers and put it on here. I don't know. Oh my God, like every time I'm getting done, shit just be looking nutty to me. Like my brows is kind of throwing me off now. Like this brow is just, no, you tried it. You really tried it, sis. I feel like, oh, yeah. I think my brother's out of the bathroom. I can turn the AC off. Spoke too damn soon. I'm sorry guys if you guys can hear my AC. Oh, so damn annoying. And guess what? Now I've been using um oh and I'm going in with mocha bomb. I've been using blush because I ordered this palette from Juvia's Place. And I wonder if I should do a video. Let me know in the comments if I should do a video on a full face of Juvia's Place because I have so much of their stuff and I would love to do like a video on that because that is another black owned business and you know we support the black owned businesses. I am so light handed when it comes to makeup because I hate starting over. Like, and I'm not the person to start over. I will just go over my work. I don't care. So yeah, I'm going in actually with my bare minerals um, because this is a little darker. Like, that's my tip guys. If you're a beginner in makeup and uh, you don't know what you're doing, but you want to try something out, just go light handed. Just go light handed and you'll be fine. Honestly, you'll make less of a mistake when you use less product. There are, these pictures are mainly for my mom. I really didn't even want to take graduation pictures, but my mom would not stop about these goddamn pictures, so I'm taking them. This is not something I wanted to do because I really didn't care to do it. I would have rather just took pictures at graduation in my cap and gown than go to a studio and just get them in a studio done, but it's whatever. 
there's just something throwing me off. I don't know what it is. It's, I think it's my brows. Like something's just throwing me off. Lashes, they're looking real raggedy. I gotta put you guys on to this. Um, maybe I should do an eyelash haul. So I found a page on Instagram and they actually sell lashes. Like all of the lashes that you sit here and pay like 14, 15, 27 dollars for. Yeah, I found a page on Instagram that sells all your favorite kind of lashes for like three dollars, four dollars. Like the most I've seen lashes cost on there is like seven dollars. So I brought like 18 pairs of lashes for like literally forty dollars. And they're supposed to be coming in the mail. I can't wait to show you guys that because I picked so many cute styles. You guys are gonna love them. Come on. There's like so much glue in between this lash. I don't even know if I should wear these. I think I should just wear these. Cause I just know my mom already. Why do you have those big lashes on? I literally feel though like I burnt these lashes doing something. This is crazy. They look really like fucked up. Like they've been through the trenches. Whenever I wore these lashes, it had to be one wild night. This is kind of crazy. I'm going to go in with my mascara, if I can find it. I am going to go in and put some mascara on these lashes. This is looking very, very skimpy. But this mascara is so, so good for your under lashes. Like, it's so long for that. You don't even have to sit there and put like individuals on. But yeah, I want to show you guys how I make double stacked lashes. Because I make my own. This glue does not look. Why is it coming out like water? Oh, hell no. Nah. Hold up. Cut the clip. Cut the clip. Okay, I'm back. That glue was coming out real watery. I wanna be a kid again. Can you imagine the time where you had no bills to pay and you were just living life carefree? Can you even remember that far back? This adult life is getting real ghetto, I'll tell you that. This is just straight water, like. Oh my God, never again, never again. I knew I should've just held my other shit down. This is, this is my OG glue, like. This is the best type of lash glue you could get. If you're not trying to like lose your eyes and use hair glue. Let me see if there's a drop of it left. This is really- <gasps> Oh shit, there is. Okay, I'm just gonna try putting these lashes on. My mom's just gonna have to hate me. I'm like so stuck in my ways, man. I'm someone who like, if I like something, I'll just stick with it instead of trying something new and then seeing if I like that better. Like I have got to cut that shit out. Oh my God, my brother's gonna get me copyrighted, son. Oh my God. I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna have to fuck my brother up and yeah, so let me apply these lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm pretty much done. I am so done. Like, I am ready to go. I just wanna get these shits done and over with. My mom just called me like, not too much makeup. Sis, I know. So I'm gonna go on with the Juvia's Place palette. I'm gonna lightly, lightly. Cause we can't be affording to be looking like no poker face. So 
here i love this blush because honestly it's like so subtle but like it just looks so nice on my complexion and i'm not putting on no highlighter we ain't doing that today i'm just gonna bronze one more time My brother is gonna get me copyrighted. I can't. Here we go with AC, guys. I'm sorry. So, I think I'm done. I just need to set my face. I might just bronze one more time. I don't know. I'm just feeling a little too pale right under my eyes. Like, and for my lips, I want to do my go to because today is just not the day to be testing shit, like I said. And I don't even know what to wear there. Like, oh, oh my God, I can't. Okay, let me find something to wear and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to take out my curls. I look like a poodle. No, my camera's dying. No. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, I'm just fixing my curls because they keep dropping because this hair refuses to stay curly. Um, but I finally got the hang of this. Now I know how to curl my hair. Oh, and I'm late, I'm running late. So this is how I figured out how you curl your hair. So this is for the beginners because if you do know how to curl hair, leave me alone. I'm new to this. So this is how you do it. You literally clamp it down. I don't know why the ends look so brittle like that. I'm not like that. And then you just twirl it up. Just don't burn your face. That's how you grow hair. I'm looking like a treat, honey. I'm looking like a whole treat. I hope these pictures come out good. That's all I hope. <gasps> I just burned my eyebrow. Oh. And I just ruined this curl. Like, what the hell was I thinking? Like, what did I really think I was doing? Oh my god, that just pissed me off and I just burnt my eyebrow. Hopefully, they don't just fall off during my shoot. So, I'm done. Um, I'm about to go take my pictures. Um, I'm gonna try and bring you guys with me because my camera's dying. But if I don't, but if I don't, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay safe and wash your hands. I'm gonna keep saying that. Wash your hands, make sure you wash your hands. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.